Chelsea. Today I'm over at my friend Tiffany's house and we're going to work on improving the curb appeal of her house. But we're literally going to start at the curb with her mailbox because Tiffany, your mailbox is in a little rough shape, huh? You think? <laughs> it's nothing we can't handle though. Let's get to work. Great. And this area definitely needs some work. For starters, this walkway is off center and doesn't flow with the rest of the sidewalk. And the mailbox is in pretty bad shape. Rather than repair it though, we're going to install a sturdy new mailbox. So this will be the first thing to go. For this project, we're going to use a round point floral shovel, a square point shovel, a bow rake, a hand trowel, string, marking paint, a wheelbarrow, a six foot four by four, bag of concrete mix, tape measure, four foot level, a drill driver, a new mailbox with mounting plate, mulch, and my personal favorite, an assortment of colorful flowers. Doesn't seem like it has any concrete around it. It's so old, there's probably not any concrete left. <laughs> when does your mail usually get delivered? In the mornings, afternoons? Yeah, usually, usually about 11.30, so uh, we have about 45 we'll... <laughs> minutes to get this entire project done. Let's see if we can maybe lift it out together. Uh. Turns out the old post was missing something. There's no concrete down in there. Which explains why it was so wobbly. So we put a new one in there, we're gonna have a six foot pole with concrete, so it's gonna be even stronger than this was. With the mailbox removed, we're ready to set the new post. It's a four by four and it's pressure treated, but more importantly is that it's rated for ground contact. So okay. you, can, you can see it on the tag. So okay. it's gonna go down in the ground, even though it's pressure treated, all the moisture from the ground, it'll definitely rot it away in a few years if it's not rated. Okay, well good. So we can get her marked and start putting it back in the ground. Great. This post is six feet long. A third of that, or two feet, is going into the ground and will get surrounded by concrete. That'll ensure that it stays in place and doesn't move. So Tiffany is making a few marks at two feet from the end so we can see just how deep it needs to set once it's in the ground. All right, Tiffany, you ready to pour the concrete in there? I'm ready. Lucky for us, there's not a whole lot left to dig out, which means we can jump right into securing this post. Concrete is key for a long-standing secure mailbox, and mixing concrete in place like this is the way to go. Then I like to take something to jab into the concrete, like this stick. This will open up pockets in the concrete so the water will settle and disperse evenly. This is a fast setting concrete, which means it'll usually get firm in about 20 to 30 minutes. So it's important to level the post as the concrete is setting. All right, Tiffany, while the concrete dries, it only takes about 30 minutes or so. We don't want to disturb the, the post and get it unleveled. So let's work on the walkway. Okay. I was thinking that we could use these stones, but just kind of redesign them sure. and kind of incorporate them into our little mailbox area. Great. Does that work for you? That works great. For okay, me. well, we'll go ahead and dig them up and set them aside so we can get everything worked out. I love to recycle old materials rather than replacing them, and here's a good example. These pavers may not look that great butted together and off-center like they are, but I still think they have a lot of potential. My gardener clearly forgot these weeds. <laughs> Is, are you talking about yourself? Yes, I'm talking about myself. <laughs> All right, so one idea I had was to follow the kind of curve of your front sidewalk okay, and bring it out here and maybe stay straight at first and then curve it back towards okay. the mailbox. And we can use some of this grass to fill in and make that curve. Oh, I think Does that's that great. Good? Yeah. And then on this side, we kind of come and then we'd round oh, right. around the mailbox to create a garden area. I love that. That's great. I like curves, no straight lines. Okay. So. <laughs> Since our existing sidewalk is four feet wide, we're using a four foot level to lay out our paper path. Once the overall design is agreed on, we mark it with some landscape paint and then begin to dig out the grass. So hopefully we'll be able to transplant some of this grass to some other spots in the yard. Oh, I've got plenty of places Perfect. I can use it. Plenty it's of places. It's in good shape. But well, who knows, maybe I'll get yard of the month for a change. Uh, your, your homeowners association has that? They sure do. That's nice. 12 years, we've never gotten it. Go put it in the backyard. Is that where you want to transplant it? Okay. Hey, Tiffany, I was thinking of taking the stones and putting them sideways like diamonds. Okay. So do you, what do you think about that? You want to kind of see what it looks like? Yeah, I think that'll be so, okay. So and then if we went down and kind of curved them and curved towards it the in. mailbox? Get a curve in there somehow. Yeah, we can just start kind of curving it here. 
Maybe. I don't know, it might look silly curved with a pat diamond pattern, but we can adjust it. We can go we can go square. It's good to have a little flexibility with a project. Since none of these ideas are set in stone, so to speak, we can play around with different ideas. Our first idea certainly wasn't our best. I think it needs to be straight. And I think having the mulch will kind of shock, yes. soften the hard line. I think so line. too. I think so too. I think okay, well now I, do you want to do, you like the space between I them? I like the space. Okay, it'll look cool once we put the yeah, mulch Yeah, and we down. get the mulch and it, to me it'll tie it all mm -hmm. in together and not a separate, it's part of the bed. Yeah. So. Okay, so let's move these stones against the curve. Okay. And then um, we'll kind of adjust the space. Okay. After a little head scratching, we come up with a solution. We're using a tape measure to give our pavers a consistent spacing. After several attempts, I think we finally found the one. Okay. You know, I like it. I mean, I feel like it, it, it's right. Mm -hmm. I didn't realize how off-center it was before. And it really does feel... Sorry to point it out to you. Yeah, thanks. But we fixed it, so now it's all good. Yeah, no, it looks okay, really I think good. Just, like, one and or two I more like tweaks. spaces. I like this. I do too. I like it. Okay, awesome. With the heavy lifting out of the way and the concrete dry, we're ready to install the new mailbox. Tiffany selected a kit that covers a 4x4 post. And it has a neat little flower box. This is a mystery wrapped in an enigma, wrapped in plastic. This kit contains a couple of sleeves which slide over the post and a couple of arms which screw to either side of it. So which one's the front? I don't think it matters. Perfect. So we can't mess it up. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go. Uh, it's not going anywhere. There we go. So these go on the bottom? Yeah, the bottom holes. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Ta-da. Oh, that looks nice. All right. Once the mailbox frame is secure, we add the mounting plate. Ta-da! And then finish it off by attaching the new mailbox. Okay, the stepping stones are in place, the mailbox is all set. Now it's time to wrap up this project with a little landscaping fun. We're using an assortment of color with some springtime flowers. Snapdragons, gerba daisies, geraniums. All of these are great for a mailbox garden because they don't require a ton of water and add a beautiful touch of color to the curb. The idea is to add a concentration of color surrounding the mailbox. So we're setting them in place while still in their pot so we can determine the best placement for each flower. It's perfect in the middle. Is it? Good. Yep. Once we're happy with the layout, we dig holes underneath each flower, gently loosen the roots, and then set them in place. When adding plants around a mailbox, there are a few things to consider. Flowers around a mailbox definitely make a statement and can add beauty to your curb appeal. Ah, plants coming with weeds. Rude. To top it off, we're adding mulch. Not only will mulch bring uniformity to this area, it's also great for holding in moisture and discouraging weeds from popping up. One final step, let's give these fresh flowers a drink. All right, I like it, Tiffany. It's not so much it's gonna overwhelm your other landscaping, it's, it's just perfect. No, I think it's perfect too, and I think it's, um, I'm gonna get mailbox of the month. Yard of the month? No, just, just mailbox. mailbox of the month. We'll take it. Y'all have to come back. Oh, we'll do get, the rest of the yard. And then we'll I get gotcha, yard of the month. I gotcha. I see, what you, I see what you're doing there. Yeah. <laughs> I have so many ideas for upcoming projects. Follow along on Facebook so you don't miss out.